Whoa, whoa. They ain't never seen nothing like this before. Lit the room when I came through the front door. Ask me if I should suffer, come work for. Train in the trees, please walk my sycamore. Touch burning sands, cross lands and Still me sure, sure seasons in the year, yeah. Ain't no channel for champions and chain no fear. Yeah, the champ is here. Welcome back, viewers of the best YouTube channel in all of YouTube itself. Of the most boring. It's not their way contender anyway. Uh downpipes come. So a few years watched for Yellow Evo where we fitted the turbo, fitted the rally out pipes, fitted the elbow. What do we fit? Uh battery relocation kit and yeah, so we've got all that fitted. And we're just waiting for this to come, uh, which is a gravity performance downpipe. So if, if someone commented actually on the post and said, what downpipe have you fitted? And I did say I will review the fitting of this downpipe. And I'm going to show you that now. Comes with some gaskets and hardware. So to say this cost me £100 this downpipe. Look at a TIG welding. That's well, it's nearly as good as mine, isn't it? Bent really well. Nice flexi in it. Really, really nice TIG welding. I mean, both sides. It's yeah, it's as good as mine. Anyway, let's say that. Now, nah, mine's not as good as that. It's better, obviously. So. Again, penetration inside. I think you can see that really on camera. Let's see if we can get it out in the sun. See if the camera will pick it up. Yeah, that's a bit better if I get it at that angle. You can see a lot of the penetrations all the way through. Really, really nice this. Just hope it fits as, as good as it looks nice. And we'll even check the flange condition. Normally, if that tends to when you look down it, you can. Well, that's nice and straight. You can see just the cross home marks where it's been linished. So, once this has been welded on, they've had it on the flat sander and just straight after welding, they've just straightened the mating flanges. I'm just going to check. Yep. You see, you can see, look. So it has been on the flatbed sander after welding, just in case of any warpage. Really happy with that. Gonna uh, see how it fits. Also guys, I know it's detracting just quickly away from the Evo, but uh, I've got this little uh, Derby 50 engine in bits for my nephew. It's one of them jobs. You know when you tell your nephew don't buy something because it'd be a pile of shit? That's a gearbox of this bike. So yeah, don't listen to me. So this is the outcome. Uncle Dave to the rescue. Just have a look under here, guys. Uh, show you this down pipe so that's the original still on there and so yeah pretty pretty slim the original ones and you see I knew it had been blowing here so hopefully I can cure you see you see that black so hopefully that should cure it still looking pretty decent under here It is very mucky though, look at the muck on back of there, what a, what a scrubber eh? Let's get it clean at some point. Metallic shining away. Metallic prop. What a whopper eh? Little pieces of prop metallic. Right, so just this one bolt here, that's going to come off. A couple of bolts here, it's already off at front. It's going to get that ripped off now. The bolts that come with it are definitely wrong. 
don't fit. You have to use your originals. Slight smear of copper grease to go on. And there is little screwdrivers. Put this. Overall, guys, seems to be fitting well. Nice at front, we'll see what it looks at back. It's all bolted up, perfect, except it's touching the sump, see that, it's bolted up there, perfect. So the only way I can actually get down this is to angle, is take this back off and elongate the holes. So if I elongate the bolt, you'll see if I take more of it upwards, sorry downwards, it would let the downpipe twist slightly at the back end so if I can adjust it slightly it will move it away from the sump it probably is it touching I'm gonna go as far as say it is so that's your gravity down pipes so if you're gonna fit one of these you'd probably be better off elongating it before you get it on like me but that's 100% touching so let's see if we can modify it. I've managed to get some clearance. If you can see that. There's not a lot, but it's actually clearing the sump all the way. So I can actually see clearance all the way. There's probably four, four to five mil clearance. And that's just by adjusting it, so if you did elongate the holes, you're probably going to get another couple of mil. So if you took, say, took one mil, couple of mil out at the top, you'd be able to just straighten it up a little. But uh, yeah, so there it is. Gravity downpipe does fit. Will actually bolt on without catching anything, but it is very, very close. But as I say, I don't know if you can, we can kind of get a gauge really of there we go you can see it on that shot so that's how much clearance we've got with the gravity down pipe that bear in mind that is a concoction of exhaust we've got an hk silent cat back we've got an m2 silence d cat at the front mate into a gravity down pipe to a rsp o2 elbow so what we've also got to bear in mind is that O2 elbow, what's drilled for the bolts, that could be one mil out, which is making the gravity down downpipe slightly off. But when I offered my original downpipe up to the turbo, it seemed pretty much damn perfect. So by saying that were perfect, I'd I'd go and say that these clear but only by 5 mil. So if you contemplate one of these, they're cheaper. I'm not going to say they're cheap. Well, they are cheap. So they're 129 quid as opposed to 200 quid for an M2. Now, I've had a friend who's bought an M2 one, and Pep with a Blue Evo that you've seen on my videos, and it, he had to elongate his to get it fit. So I think it's just going to be, we it being aftermarket, just take it, take it that you are probably going to have to modify something so but other than that it, it's pretty much gone straight on and i've got clearance so i can't really knock that can't knock it at all so gravity down pipe i'd say gets a gets a thumbs up from me so anyway let's get on floor and uh, let's take it out one thing to note guys is the strengthening bar which runs across is uh doesn't fit I'd put three washers on for bolts just to lower it to give the exhaust clearance. 
So yeah, that's had to be spaced, but that comes with territory, doesn't it, when you're fitting a 3-inch downpipe to a car that shouldn't really have one. So yeah, uh, gonna give it a run, checked it all over, just sorted any pipes and stuff, topped the oil up from where it lost a bit, but uh, yeah, let's see how it behaves. To summarise guys, give it a run out, seems laggy and lean so the uh, turbo time has got an air fuel ratio monitor on it showing it's lean so i need to get my wide band in my exhaust and uh, have a look at it so like i say we've just seen we've just fitted that gravity down uh, down pipe last episode we fitted the airbox the rally out pipe work and the intercooler as well as the evo 8 turbo and enlarged o2 housing so yeah, bit seems to be more laggy, but it seems that there's more top end power. So with that in mind, I just need to work on the bottom end low down torque and it should be should be pretty good. So I think what I'm gonna do is fuel filter down there because I haven't changed it and I'll hold my hands up, I should have changed it. Uh, it completely cross my didn't cross my mind everything else has been changed by that and i'm going to pull fuel rail out and get them injectors clean so i'm going to cap this video off at that. cheers guys for coming back and letting me bore you for the evening uh let me know if there's anything you want to see and i will document cleaning these injectors and changing this filter filter will be boring but the injectors might be a bit interesting for you so uh cheers guys uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next time and enjoy this lovely evening. For the victory lap though. Whoa, whoa, they ain't never seen.